I'm Tony Poulos and I'm here today with Ron Raffensperger who is the CTO of the IT business unit at Huawei. Ron, great to meet you. I know you're an expert in the data centre area but I really want to understand a few things first. How are businesses today managing to transition from managing multiple data centres to say the cloud? Well right now they're generally not. Um, and I think this is one of the major challenges going forward because that we've seen lots of consolidation in different industries and so businesses end up with multiple data centers. Their real challenge it becomes kind of like the, in, in the US we have a saying about it's hard to remember that, that your goal was to clean out the swamp when you're up to your you know, waste and alligators. And so many IT organizations are constantly challenged with just keeping things running and they really haven't had the opportunity or the to or the capability to look across the landscape and and understand some of the advantages some of the efficiencies some of the ways that they could help transform their businesses if they could look at all of these different uh, silos of computing and of data center that they have and and particularly as more and more gets done in a public cloud right I mean, we we have an awful lot of cases where you know individual departments have gone and used the corporate credit card to buy amazon web services to do stuff or they're using software as a service and the really there's right now those are again more islands and so there's a very strong need to be able to tie all this together, but in general, most businesses aren't very far along. Are existing data center architectures accommodating enough, or do we have to come up with some new technology? One of the challenges is that many of the data center technologies related to, are related to efficiency, and they're focused on how can I get the same amount of work or more work with a, a lower uh, expenditure of my um, data center equipment. And so there's been a lot of, you know, we'll, we'll put in virtualization and, and a lot of the solutions are proprietary, they're closed. And so that as you try to, to connect those together, you're, you're forced into then more proprietary solutions. So I think this is a, a big challenge. And how is Huawei helping industry to resolve some of these issues? So Huawei is very focused around trying to create open solutions. And so we have come up with a, a concept we call the Distributed Cloud Data Center, or DC Squared, which is the concept of being able to manage multiple physical data centers, and they could be public cloud, they could be private cloud in your own uh, physical data center, but lot, manage them all as one logical whole and in fact be able to subdivide them into virtual data centers so that I could give you know my accounting organization what looks like their own data center they can manage it themselves they can control it but it's actually taking advantage of the overall efficiencies of my complete IT uh, setup including uh, public cloud and how important is it to differentiate services to say uh, meet service level agreements for example well, this is one of the things that's interesting is because when we moved to virtualization that we actually lost something. And when, when I had that, you know, when I could go point at that rack of equipment and say, that's my ERP system. If somebody called up the IT organization and said, I'm getting a really bad response when I type in, you know, to the ERP system, it's taking forever, right? I knew where to go look, right? It's in that set of racks of equipment. And it's maybe I need faster networking, maybe I need more servers, more storage, but we knew where to look. When we moved into virtualization, now where's my ARP system? Right? It's over there. Oh no, it's over there. Now it's over there, right? And we never put in place the structure to be able to manage services. And so when somebody calls up and says, you know, I'm getting really bad response, you know, when I type into the ERP system, there's no way to know where it where's the problem, right? It could be anywhere, right? And, and maybe five minutes from now, they won't have that same problem. And so the, the, we've actually expanded our original concept of the distributed cloud data center to be uh, service driven because we've, we've expanded the concept around what we call resource pools. So not just virtualization, but I can say, 
this set of resources needs to have this amount of storage bandwidth, it needs to have this amount of network bandwidth, it needs to have you know, a jitter of less than this, right? And so by being able to add that definition into these, the, the virtualization pods, if you will, then we can now address the issues like you know, making sure that the high priority things actually run well. And I was going to ask you how this is done, but you've explained it so well. Ron, great to catch up with you, and thank you so much for explaining things in terms that I can understand as well. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. very much.